We'll start with the good news in today's jobs report. The unemployment rate is down, and for the right reason. More people are finding work. The bad news is job creation is slowing sharply, raising concerns about the economic recovery. The economy added only 113,000 jobs last month, and that was well below expectations. At the same time, though, the unemployment rate dropped a tenth of a point to 6.6 percent, and that is the lowest in five years. Anthony Mason has been looking into what all this means. Construction was the biggest job creator in January, 48,000 of them added. In Florida, contractor Ed Elwell says his family construction business is surging and builders are hiring. It's obvious to me by virtue of the fact that it's hard to get labor right now. In other words, skilled labor for the trades that we need, and that's generally an indication that work is out there. But nationally, the latest job numbers were a disappointment, and two months of brutal weather may have been a factor. After heading steadily higher in the last half of last year, hitting 274,000 in November, job creation dropped sharply in December and January. Is this a trend, do you think? I, I don't think it's a trend because it's not corroborated by anything else that we're looking at. Maury Harris, chief economist with UBS, says weekly unemployment claims have been dropping, while economic growth has been picking up. So how do you explain that then? In any given month, you have a tremendous amount of volatility in these statistics. The only way to read them is to go with most of the evidence, and most of the evidence is pointing to a better job market. In Florida, that's what contractor Ed Elwell is seeing. Business is better, but he can't explain why. I'm not sure what the future holds, uh, but there's an old saying that my father taught me. You make hay while the sun shines, so I'm trying to make hay while the sun shines. <laughs> the unemployment rate dipped again in January. In recent months, that's happened because frustrated job seekers just gave up looking. But last month, more people actually came back into the workforce, a sign of growing confidence that jobs are out there again. Well, speaking of confidence, the Fed has been winding down its stimulus program that it started during the Great Recession. If the job numbers remain weak, is there any reason to believe the Fed would reconsider the wind down? If it, if it continues like this, maybe, Scott. But we'll, we'll know more actually from Janet Yellen, the new Fed chair, next week because she's going to be testifying before Congress. It's the first time we're going to hear from her. We'll watch for that. Anthony, thank Thanks very much. The unemployment rate, of course, tells only about half the story. Consider underemployment. When you add people who have quit looking for jobs and people who can find only part-time work, the underemployment rate is 12.7%. It's improving, but that is still 20 million Americans looking for full-time work.